Last program we had seen both f getters and f putters. This time we'll see f getters, how we read lines of data from a file, and also the prototype of f putters. So, what I've done is I've declared fptr as a pointer to a file type of a structure. I have defined buffer as an array of characters of size 80. I have opened a file fgets underscore test.txt in read mode. Now, if there is no problem opening the file for reading, I will not get this null and I will proceed ahead. Now, in the next step, what I am going to do here is I am trying to print on the screen that I am going to read a file line by line from a file and then I am going to display it on the output, standard output, which happens to be your monitor or your screen. So, just look at how this fgets works. While fgets buffer, which happens to be whatever data is read, is going to be stored in this array. Maximum width of the line happens to be 79 characters because one character for the null character. FPTR means read from this particular source of input or your file. Now fgets will keep reading line by line. The minute it encounters the end of the file or there is certain error while reading, this will become null. So as long as it is null, it will keep reading one line at a time. And then what it will do is using printf, we can print that particular line onto the screen. So fgets reads line by line, a maximum of 79 characters, adds a null character from this particular file and that data is stored into this particular array. And then I am printing this particular file. And using fclose, I am indicating that I am done reading my file. Now I had not shown you the syntax of fputs in the previous video. So take a look at fputs syntax. The first thing indicates from where the data is going to be input or read. So that is the buffer. So this is the source of input. Then the other parameter is just happens to be your output. Output can be your monitor or it can be another file. Now fputs, it will return end of the file if it, there is any error occurs or else a non-negative value. So it will return a non-negative value if the writing is happening fine. But the minute there is some problem, it will return end of the file. Now I had used this function feof at the very beginning of this series. feof stands for file end of the file function. It is going to have the source of input or output. Okay, stream stands for the source of input or output. So it returns a non-zero value when the end of file is encountered, generally minus one. Otherwise, zero is kept on returning. So feof is a function where we use to check whether we have reached the end of the file. If we have not reached end of the file, it will return zero. But if we have reached end of the file, generally a non-zero value like minus one is returned. So I hope you have understood the basic idea of how to use sequential files in C. With this, I believe you are good enough to start doing your programs in your lab.